Welcome to the Murphy, Sam, and Jody After the Show podcast. And uh, this is where we hang out a little bit longer. And we love to hear from you. So if you're listening on the iHeartRadio app, click the red talkback mic to send us a message or be a part of it. And if you're not, that's no big deal. You can just record it like you would record any voice memo on your phone and email it to us, msj at msjshow.com. We were talking today in the show, and I want to talk more about brows, eyebrows, um, the, the new the trend. Trends go in and out with beauty, just like they do for fashion. You'll have to school me on that because I don't really... I've seen other trends. The eyebrow ones don't jump out at me, though. Good. That's a good thing. We're going to get to that. Yeah, I never if people noticed. don't notice your eyebrows, then you're doing something right. Because okay. your eyebrows sort of frame your face and your they're, they're important, yeah. which is why there is a lot of, you know, light on them in the beauty world. Because you can change everything about a person's face by changing their eyebrows. Eyebrows are expressive. You oh, know yeah. this. Uh, yeah. Don't you have a, a, a joke picture that you like to send all of us of a dog with these heavy, heavy <laughs> eyebrows on, Sam? <laughs> yes. And that dog looks hysterical. Yes. Or you can look suspicious or you can look confused. Well, just think of all the eyes yeah. you put on eyebrows or whatever you put on a pumpkin when you cut one every uh, year. Oh, yeah. You can make him surprised. You can make <laughs> him angry. I want to bring it up but, but for this reason. If you don't like your eyebrows or you're thinking about going with a trend and going super thin or... God forbid you're thinking of shaving your eyebrows off because if you want the high or thin thing, that would be the quickest thing to do is like shave it off. Mm. Know this, a couple of things. Number one, if you start shaving your eyebrows, they may never grow back or they may grow back much more light. And maybe that's something that you want. Oh. If you've got heavy, bushy wow. bushies, mm -hmm. maybe you should think about that. But I want to say this, a couple of things. <laughs> If you want to do some major eyebrow upgrade, go to a professional first. Do not start playing at home with tweezers and razors or waxing or any of that mm -hmm. um, because you will change your face. You will do something that can be kind of irreversible. It's probably more difficult to make something even when you're doing it yourself versus 100%. somebody that can step back 10 feet from you and look at you or whatever. Totally. You know? Another thing I want to throw out there is it's the same thing as with buying frames you your eyebrows actually if a, a stylist was looking right at you mm -hmm. and this is men or women women are more concerned with it but <laughs> as women are more concerned with their faces um it's the same as when you buy frames you're supposed to be buying them uh to complement your face shape right so if you have a law if you have a squared off face um, a, a softer, rounded, even arched brow looks good on you mm -hmm. to soften some of the boxiness. So you need to know what your face shape is and what brows look best with certain shape faces if you're going to do a major brow overhaul. That's another one you probably need a friend or a pro to tell you. You can Google because, it, but... Because looking in a mirror, or if you look at different... Um, I look at different pictures of myself. My face looks different at different angles, period. Yeah. So I don't... I mean, looking in a mirror is not the same thing as Absolutely seeing a photo not. of yourself no, or how other people see you. The brow industry is a billion-dollar <laughs> industry. You can go get brows with the threading and the permanent and you can get what, what shaped is, constantly what's threading i am not exactly sure because okay. it's not something i've ever had to dig I've into seen it we on can signs google it. and wondered we can google it but it's um but here's what i'll here's what i'll say um it can change everything it can change the shape of your face but if if i'm looking at you and i don't notice your eyebrows that's a good thing yeah it means your your eyebrows look right for your face if they stand out as too thin or too severely drawn on, mm -hmm. if someone is looking at your at your brows and they notice them, you're either in that business, <laughs> you know, you're you in know? the beauty business and you notice good brows, or you're doing them right. You know Does that what? Make sense? Yeah, uh, yes. And the other thing, but this is odd because it's not about brow shape, but there are people who do too much Botox and they lose their expressive ability, and that stands out to me too when sure. you see eyebrows that just kind of they don't move when somebody's yeah. expressing themselves you know what i'm saying because I you're know. used to eyebrows exp right exactly i so. will say this though beauty really is you have to live you have to live a while to understand this eye of the beholder you know there's no wrong way to do it there's no wrong way uh, a woman who has shaved off her eyebrows or whatever and decides to draw them on there's not in the beauty business they may say well this is not the best practice 
but there's no wrong way to age. You yeah. can try, you can do things to yourself, or you can not, you can just let everything be natural, but you get that choice as a human being. You can even do the tattoos on yeah. the eyes. You can eyebrows. do that. You can do that. Um, but there are trends in everything, mm -hmm. fashion, beauty, too. So, yes, there have been times, Murphy, when the thicker brow has been in. Mm -hmm. I think of Cindy Crawford. Brooke you Shields. Yeah, Brooke Shields. Um, I remember the first time. And, and another thing, I've never had to, I've never thought about my eyebrows too much, and I'm lucky in that regard. I've never had to pluck them very much. I, I have them waxed every once in a great while. They don't grow in heavily. Well, being a redhead, you don't see them unless you enhance them anyway. I do a little bit of brow pencil right. every mm -hmm. morning, yes. And when I don't, when I have not done that brow pencil, it's like I don't have them, <laughs> which is a problem because I feel like mm. they frame my face. Yeah, yeah, I understand that completely. Yeah, you, you, you guys have seen me a lot without makeup, and yeah. I, it looks like I don't have eyebrows because they're red. And they're Can't light. get an expression out of you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, if you've ever, have you guys ever given thought? To your brows much only when i get uh, only with the wild hairs okay which is a constant struggle how often uh, whenever i happen to notice i mean they're always growing too long and i just don't pay attention and all of a sudden i'll catch it and go oops i haven't gotten it in a while do you pluck them um either Snip. pluck or uh cut yeah okay and murphy yeah. i know that you well, sometimes you, well no i mean it's because when I, I get my hair cut that's part of it she if does she, that she sees something that's out of whack she fixes yeah. it yeah yeah right this is before jennifer i remember noticing a few things since yeah. we're married i would be like hey let's get that yeah and that's been my whole <laughs> life too by the way that's, that's okay yeah. Yeah. um it's it so, is annoying though mm -hmm. it, it just drives yeah. me crazy it's just like it's up stop it's just no no you're alive it's not gonna stop yeah you're, it's it's the beauty of being alive. Things grow and change, and that's it's where the upkeep. That's where the uh, you know the the phrase "get a wild hair" comes from. Everybody gets them. <laughs> I got a lot of them. Everybody has them. I oh. wanted to ask you about this. Okay. Okay. The cat eye or whatever you call the thing. The it's eyeliner. It's yeah. a trend. Yeah. What do our you call our it? oldest Taylor. You call them cat eyes. I or? don't call it anything, but I think it's kind of like wings or. Yeah. How does that affect your eyebrow? Because I mean, you don't want this going up and that coming down. I don't know if it affects it. Yeah. I think I don't think it's a completely. Didn't different know if thing. there was any fashion thing for that. Not that I know of. Mm. Understand? I'm a very basic girl with it. Right. I've never even thought about the shape of my eyebrows until in recent years with our youngest Phoebe being a makeup person and she's got lots of game and all that and mm -hmm. she would it was funny the times that she's done my makeup I don't normally let her mess with my brows because she wants to angle them more and I don't like that I just want to brush them up because they're it's just that for me it's a soft soft angle it's barely noticeable you've never noticed my eyebrows have you not much you mean like Anything awkward about them or yeah. just standing out? No, it's I mean, I've subtle. never seen anything. Yeah, they look like I mean, eyebrows. Obviously, right. I mean, I'm used to you with the pencil and not the pencel. So yeah. either way is you normal me with to me. with no makeup more than anyone, right. Murphy. Um, I will say this. Phoebe, being the makeup person that she is, she is the one who pointed out to me a family member of ours who has, she's like, she's got perfect eyebrows. And I'm like, I've never noticed her eyebrows. My, our cousin Crystal, my cousin Crystal. Oh, really? Phoebe and Taylor are like, her eyebrows are perfect. Mm. And she does her own and she shapes them herself. And yeah. they do look really good. But I never thought to notice them until it was pointed out to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the whole point of this being, if you really want to mess with your eyebrows, if you want to, you know, chase a fashion trend or you think you would look good, it is about how you think you look good. Eye of the beholder. Whatever makes you happy and makes you feel confident, to me, is the whole point of makeup, fashion, all of that. Yeah. Feel good about yourself, however that is. Lots of makeup, no makeup, somewhere in between. It does not matter. You get to do you. But if you are going to mess with the eyebrows, hmm. realize how much it does affect the face. Even though most people don't notice it, it has a great uh, effect on the face so get some help you know don't just start don't get a wild hair yeah and start tweezing and messing with it without some consultation and know that there really are guidelines for your face shape heart face you know heart shape face oval squared long there's a shape that complements that in the eyebrow world you can google it missed any part of the show get it all on the murphy sam and jody podcast